You can tell it's raining. The temperature's dropped here about 10 degrees since we came on at 1 o'clock. It's 83 right now. It's raining in downtown San Antonio here on Houston Street. And we've got showers, flood advisories in our area. And we'll keep you up to date from your weather authority live national San Antonio TV this afternoon with our favorite food and one of our favorite chefs. This guy here is all over town. He goes from, well, Jones Street. Uh, I think we're going from to that to La Cantera. That's correct. And uh, Chef uh, Zach Garza is with... What restaurant now in, in La Canteria? You're in the resort. I am. So uh, La Canteria Hill Country Resort has completely uh, revamped everything that they're doing out there. Uh, about four months ago now, we reopened with brand new concepts, and the one that I oversee is Primero Cantina. Primero Cantina. Yes, sir. But you're helping our buddy Charles over at Rosella's because you're part of the Poppin' Plate plate uh, Chef Series. Absolutely. So Charles is doing a really awesome thing down there. He's getting the whole culinary community involved. Uh, and basically every week he's got a brand new chef coming in with their own style uh, and taking over his dinner menu for a week. Zach, why is your guacamole, you know, so famous? I'm glad you asked. Let me show you. Hey, let me tee you up for success. <laughs> it's happening now on TV. So uh, we start with a pretty simple plain guacamole. Uh, avocados, red onions. Uh, we put some diced tomatoes in there. Do you? Cilantro and a little bit of serrano pepper. Okay. So what is the key to picking out the perfect avocado? The perfect avocado. Well, if you go to the the little root end, let's show this right where there. the tree where it attaches to the tree branch yeah. there, uh, and you actually pick that away. You can do that in the grocery store. Don't tell anybody. Uh, if it's nice and green on the inside, you know it's ready to go. Did you know this? I did not know that. Okay, so if, if it's bright green, you got to wait a little bit. Okay. If it's uh, starting to yellow around the edges, then you know you're good to go. And if it looks brown, put it back. You so don't this want is that the one. avocado peephole, is what you. It, I mean, I'm, I'm serious. You we, said it, Jeff, not I, me. Well, again, but the people at HEB, you know, Chef Scott right now is going, hey, don't pick apart the produce. But that's how you know when to go with the avocado. You know, and I think that's better than going around squishing all the avocados. Well, don't thump and squeeze stuff. You know? Nobody likes that. So uh, we start with a really basic guacamole, right? All your traditional ingredients, a little bit of cilantro. Now, one trick here, we go with a little, quite a bit of extra lime. And the reason we do that, I'm going to show you our secret here, okay? Watch. Some nice salt. DVR this. <laughs> your mama needs to know. So everything goes together. We started with your classic guacamole. How do we jazz it up a little bit? I'm going to show you. So we plate the guacamole. And... On top, we're going to add our secret, okay? Okay, I won't tell anybody. But our we'll... secret is the fabulous fruit of the season, okay? So we let nature do, do the work for us. So it changes. It does. So out of Primero, we use quite a bit of seasonal local ingredients. That's our spin on Tex-Mex. We call it Tex-Flex. Uh, Tex-Flex. So here... Tex-Flex. Uh, so here we have, you know, uh, cucumbers and melons are really beautiful right now. So we've Some got a little apples. bit of cucumber. Uh, actually, peaches, white nectarines. Stone fruit out of the hill country looks beautiful right now. Uh, so we want to add a little bit of sweetness in there to counteract all of that acidity from the extra lime. All right? And then to make it puro San Antonio, uh, we're actually going to top the whole thing with just a little bit of chili salt. So this is kind of fruit cup meets guacamole. Look at this. Look at this. You serve that with your favorite bowl of totopos or corn chips. We're going. You ready to And do it's this? game time. How do long it. have you been cooking? Uh, about 12 years now. Where did you go to school? I went to culinary school at the Culinary Institute of America. Started okay. here in town and actually had the opportunity to finish in Hyde Park, New York. Do I have time to eat this? Because Poppin' Plate is happening. <laughs> We're going to make sure that this recipe is put up there. Tell us all, what else is on your menu. What else is your menu? So about? also at Poppin' Plates, you know, you can come see us anytime, four to close. Uh, through the rest of the week, we'll be featuring the plates until Saturday. Uh, we also have a torta de elote. It's basically a corn cake. Uh, yeah. This is a savory version. It's got some roasted peppers. And on top, we finish it with my grandmother's pickled chipotles, which are just out of this there world. There you go. Thanks, Grandma. And Sorry, then uh, we also have up front here our gorditas. This is a vegetarian option. Uh, and everything is $11 or less. Our ceviche is the most expensive dish at $11. Okay. Uh, so it's a great value and, and a good excuse to go see Charles down at Rosella. Chef Zach Garza asked for him. Poppin' Plates, Rosella's coffee.com. RosellaCoffee.com is the website. They're on East Jones Avenue just behind the electric TV station of KSAT 12. That's so right. Look for, the, look for the biggest tower in town and just right behind there. And, and you'll be there every night. Right? And if you're on the north side, come see us out at, at La Cantera. Okay, uh, you need? Big things happening out there.